Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I'm gonna show you step by step on how I lighten my dark facial hair. And I think to myself, what a wonderful so in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I use a Jolin, which is a cream bleach, so light and dark hair, obviously. I'm going to show you step by step what I do and how I do it. It's pretty simple. It's pretty basic, but I'm going to show you guys the results I get. But please keep in mind, like I stated in the last video talking about this product, if you have never done this, it is bleach, you guys. If you have never done this, please do a patch test. Again, the more powder you use, the stronger it's going to be and it will burn your skin. It is meant to be on the skin, but again, you have to find that soft ratio. So my advice to you beginners or the people who have never done it before, my advice is to always just put a little bit of powder because the powder is the activator. So that is what's going to be really, really strong. So I'm going to show you how much I use because I've been doing this for quite some time now. I'm going to show you how much I use and how dark my hair is and the patches I'm going to, or the areas I'm going to actually put the cream on. Um, again, it is um, a lightener. So you will see after I wash my face that my skin tends to look a little bit lighter and yellow. So for the people who will say it's not good for your skin, for the people that are gonna leave any negative comments or are thinking any negative comments, please keep in mind this product right here, right here, this is meant to go on the skin. In the back, it shows you how to apply it and how to mix it. And there's instructions, there's warnings, there's everything. I'm just showing you guys what I do. And with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and prep and get started. First, obviously, I'm gonna use a little bunny hair tie. It brings, it puts back all the hairs. And I'm gonna tie my hair up. Here, I'm gonna show you guys the areas I'll be bleaching today. And for the most part, it's sometimes my whole face if I do this once a month, but if I do this every two weeks, it's just a few small areas. So my areas that get dark are right on top of my cheekbone. I have a lot of fuzzies. And when I have dark hair there, it starts looking dirty there. So sometimes I think it's like dirty spots, but it's not, I'm gonna zoom you in. So you guys can see me doing this area here. Same with the other side. I'm gonna be doing this area here because there are some um, there are some dark hairs and then I will be doing my cheek basically almost my whole face I let it grow out so you guys can see I'll be doing my chin and sometimes the dark stubborn hairs do get bleached which you know I'm not mad about and then again I'm gonna be doing the same on the other side so you guys are gonna see majority of my face will have Jolin on it so this is the cream this is the mouth formula cream and it's white so you guys can see it's a white cream inside and I've used mine a lot. I'm almost out of it. So this is a cream. So this is accelerator. This is a powder that's very strong that I tell you guys about. And when you open it, it looks something like this. I mean, it's all powdery in there. There is all the stuff. So what I usually tend to do, again, if you're a beginner, please be careful for the powder. This is accelerator. This is the activator. So I just put a little scoop there, one more scoop there. And one more scoop, so I put three. Again, I'm doing a lot of my face, so obviously it entails a little bit more. And for the powder, I eyeball it. I've been doing it for such a long time that I kind of know um, how much. So I sprinkle a little bit. If, if this is your first time, just do less than what I just did. Let me just mix it up. Again, it's the same thing as if you're like bleaching, like when you bleach or get highlights. I'm a hairstylist, so this is what you use. Developer and bleach and powder. Obviously that's meant to be for your hair, not your skin. So just bleed, you just really mix it, mix it, mix it. Now you wanna wait a few minutes so the accelerator and the cream start activating. Sometimes, sometimes I smell it, and if you smell it and if it's too strong, then that is a no-no. That's definitely gonna burn you. Then I just put a little bit more powder, just a tiny bit more, because again, I've eyeballed it many, many times and I know how much I need. So I'm gonna wait a few minutes, let that sit for maybe a minute or two, and then um, I'll show you guys how I apply it. So I waited a few minutes, 
Now, another thing you're gonna be, you're gonna definitely need something to apply it with. So I normally use a few Q-tips. If you use your finger, it will burn your skin on your fingers. It leaves like a little bit of a mark. I don't know why it doesn't leave it on your face, but if you guys use your fingers, you guys will, you guys will see a little mark, um, a little white mark that the bleach will leave you. So I just use Q-tips. I have my trash right um, next to me. But before I apply this product, your face needs to be clean. You can use um, a cleanser. So this is my go-to cleanser. This is a cleanser I always, always use. You can get this in Trader Joe's. It's an all-in-one. I do this. I towel dry my face. Do not exfoliate. Please, you guys, do not exfoliate. When you exfoliate, you're removing the top layer, a thin, thin layer of, you know, the dead skin cells. And if you exfoliate and then you put the bleach on, it will burn your face because exfoliators have little rocks. So just cleanse it. Use maybe um, a makeup wipe, something soft. I've also used a baby wipe. I've also used just water and um, a little, just dabbed it with a towel. Just have a clean face. Okay, so I just did this guy. I just did my cleanser and then I'm gonna go with this you can find at the dollar store. It's just a cleanser. It's just um, a collagen cleansing cloth. And I'm gonna do that one more time. I like to make sure I get all the dirt and all that stuff out of my hands. Just like this. There's always something left. I do have mascara on, but it's okay. Also, I would like to point out, if you are on tretinoid cream or any creams, you guys have to wait about a week or two to gelinize your face because tretinoids, retin-A's, all that stuff peels off the layer of your skin. So you got the spoolie. I kind of push it to the side. So I get my Q-tip. I dip it in, it's pretty, pretty simple, and I'm gonna zoom in and show you guys. The first area I'm gonna be doing is by my upper cheek. I just, very thin layer. You guys can still see how you guys can see my skin. That's considered a thin layer. And then I just kind of rub it down. I have a mirror, if you guys see me looking down, it's because I don't wanna get it in my hair. So then I get another Q-tip, and then I just go ahead and Clean that up. You wanna be careful if it's too strong and it's by your eye, it will make your eye cry. Then I just start with those Q-tips and then I clean and get a new clean Q-tip and just clean around my eye. And then put it back on just like that. So since my hairs are a little stubborn, I just go ahead and just do a little bit more in the area where I know the dark is at. And then I just bring it down and then just do this. It's very simple. God, that looks like a hickey. That is a curling iron burn mark. Jeez Louise. <laughs> oh God, that looks gross. Then I drag it to the next side. Again, I'm doing all my sideburns. Very light coat. The things the girls have to do. <laughs> Clearly I don't do this for anyone else except myself because you know, having dark, his, you know, I'm Hispanic, I'm Latina, so we're hairy. <laughs> okay, so you guys can see where I applied it. And I already feel it in my eyes and if you guys saw how much uh, powder I used, I didn't use that that much, but it might be a lot to some people again, if you're a beginner. I'm just gonna go ahead and basically do my whole face. See, once I start applying it, I'm like, um, I have little fuzzies. There. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. Again, I'm not doing my under chin or anything like that. I don't need to, my hair there is not that dark. I'm just gonna bring like the Perfect. Sometimes I'll go down into my neck because I'll get these like slight little fuzzies that are dark that bug me. Or other times I just go ahead and tweeze it out. So that's pretty much it. I let this sit. I let this sit for about five minutes. If you are new, 
newcomer to cream bleach, remember do a patch test so that's it for a minute or two, wipe it off, do another patch test in another area for a longer time and then you can kind of see how much you need. So I let this sit for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna be back and then I'm gonna show you how it starts drying out and then I'm gonna wash it and I'm gonna show you guys what I use to wash it, okay? I'll see you guys in a few minutes. I'm back. This has been, let's see, this has been already eight minutes. And I forgot to show you guys, but I did go a little lower just because I had a lot of product left. But this is how the product is gonna start looking maybe two to three minutes into it. It's gonna start cracking. That means it's drying, that means it's activating, and that means it is lightening your guys' facial hair. Um, I still have more product. So I'm just gonna go ahead in the last few minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and just move everything around. I also like to look in the mirror. I'll get a clean Q-tip and I'll really push the product away, like move the product. And then in the mirror, I'll see if the if my like facial hair is bleached and blonde like I want them to be. So go ahead and just do all that again. Let me remove that. Look at this. I have a mirror, so I'm looking down here still. I look so goofy. Get that off your lip. I'm gonna wait a few more minutes. I'm gonna rinse it out. So when I rinse it out, I use cool, not warm water, cool water. And then I use um, my cleanser again, just cause you're gonna feel like a little foam, like a film over it after when you rinse it out. So first you go ahead and rinse it all off. Be careful, close your eyes, obviously. You don't want to put the bleach in your eyes and then go ahead and use your face cleanser something that's gentle No exfoliator. I will be using this and um, then you guys will see the finished results So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna rinse out my face. My face is still a little bit drippy But when I dry my face, I always make sure to pat it and dab the excess water My skin is not tender or anything like that. Um, one thing I did forget to mention is you guys can get a tissue paper and then wipe first the cream off and then rinse it. But there you guys have it. As you guys can see, my skin looks a little bit lighter. Now I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you guys can see. Let's see if you guys can see. See how there's still a few little dark hairs? That's what I mean about my hair being really stubborn. But on this side, it's a little bit less. Same with like, my chin, it lightens everything up. So there you guys go, my face feels cleaner. I always notice when you know I need to do my facial bleaching because my hair starts looking, or my skin and my under eyes, like I was saying earlier, it starts looking darker. So easy peasy, if I wasn't recording this, this would probably take me maybe 15 minutes altogether. But there you guys go. Totally forgot to do the last most important step, your cream. So I just put a little bit of every one lotion, put a little bit of lotion all over my face. Just to rehydrate it. A little bit of under eye look cream. This one is from Trader Joe's. It is called the Supreme Hydrating Eye Cream. I absolutely love it. There you go, a bit of under eye cream. All right, and now I'm done. Cue the outro. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world.